What's up, dudes and dudettes? Uh, love a rock and iron here. That was an amazing intro there. Um, and as in that intro, did state we did have some special guests. If there are any special guests in the studio, please holler out. G'day, my name's Calvin. How you going? I'm Nate. How you going, James? Yeah, Damon here. Right. <laughs> and we're Cryptic Abyss. Ah, right. So I was so wondering, that's your who, name. who are you, Chris? <laughs> what are you doing? We were keeping it quite cryptic. Excellent. That's right. So Cryptic Abyss is on in the studio with us today. Uh, thank you for the noise. Um, no problem. Yeah. Uh, yes, Cryptic Abyss. I saw you guys for the first time, and you guys were supporting that band there. Uh, King Parrot yeah. uh, that was over at the Ding Dong Lounge a couple of weeks ago um, I rocked up to the gig and saw you guys and yeah it was. you guys played with King Parrot how was it? that was an awesome, awesome night yeah. very fun awesome that was yeah. something we've been looking forward to for a very long time especially when it's one of your favourite bands oh yeah yeah, yeah right. big fans <laughs> of theirs yeah we didn't expect to be playing with them so soon but it was really cool Excellent, stage, excellent. Same stage. It was really, it was a really, really rad, uh, rad set. I didn't hear of you guys before. I was just sort of looking around and like, you know, I'd never heard of you before. What sort of outlet do you guys come along? So that's when I found you, Kelvin. I'm like, hey, man. Um, Wasn't it great to <laughs> see my face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are a shining ray of beauty. <laughs> um, I'm like, hey, hey man. Um, uh, you want to come on my radio show? <laughs> and you were like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to. Here's a free EP. Yes! <laughs> so, yeah, um, we'll be playing some of your music uh, throughout the night. We'll have a rock and iron here and joined here with Cryptic Abyss. G'day. <laughs> well, g'day. Uh, yeah, so let's get right down to it. Um, tell us about yourselves. Who are you? What do you do? What's, what's your jive? We are a four-piece groove metal band from Melbourne. We're a little bit groovy, a bit thrushy. And yeah, we started about two years ago, just started playing gigs seriously now, so yeah. Okay, so you, you've been together for two years, uh, and you're saying you just started playing gigs seriously now. What what were you doing before you were playing gigs seriously? Sort of just taking it slow. And I was learning how to play bass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, okay, yeah, yeah. that's... Cool. Yeah, because I, I joined when the band formed. Uh, right. I mean, yeah. I started playing when the band formed, yeah. 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 Right, all right. Cool, cool. Um, okay, so now that you guys have started playing seriously, what's been happening for you? A lot, really. Yeah, heaps of uh, wicked gigs coming up, yeah. Yeah. Been pretty busy. Had yeah. okay. responses from the EP and... Yeah. Right, and we're going to play a song from the EP in a couple of minutes, just after this. But um, okay, so I asked the question, "What have you been doing?" And uh, yeah, heaps of stuff. Get to elaborate. <laughs> gigs, gigs, <laughs> gigs. Playing everywhere we can. Okay, all so all the time, uh, anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I saw you guys at King Parrot. So that was a big gig. What else? What's what else is on the cryptic agenda? What's on your? Uh, uh, we're playing one Friday at uh, Mr. Boogeyman Bar. Saturday, sorry. Saturday. Yeah. And uh, not so Friday. That's <laughs> right. Friday. Yeah. Don't come Friday. <laughs> There'll be no one there. <laughs> so okay. So at Mr. Boogie's. Yep, Mr. Mr. Boogie. Boogeyman's. Yep. What, what's that? He does it. He picks his nose. I've heard. But, uh, <laughs> and that's this Saturday. So that's is right. That, is that's that right. Mr. Boogie's or Mr. Boogeyman's? Mr. Boogeyman Bar. Mr. Boogeyman Bar. This Saturday, doors open. Four o'clock. Uh, six o'clock is the six first band playing. Six o'clock, yeah. All right, so get there just before six, check out some local bands. Who, do you know who's on the bill? Uh, Nightmare, Flaming flaming Wreckage, so are actually and Anient. Right, okay. And Roosevelt, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And us, yeah. Cool, so obviously you got your Facebook page, what is that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Forward slash Cryptic Abyss, I think, yeah. Yeah, Alright, right. so www.facebook.com forward slash cryptic abyss. Check out details for this weekend's gig. So, yeah. So, we're back for the guys, and I've got a few questions. What is your dating profiles? For <laughs> all, is any one of you guys single? Because our listeners may be wanting a piece of you guys. Um, this guy right here, Calvin Cobby. <laughs> yeah? The handsome gentleman on the end. <laughs> so, what is your dating profile? I don't have one. 
You don't have one? No. No long walks on the beach, no, no. like any chicks that listen to like. Short walks know. to the shops, more like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sweet, sweet. So, how did you guys form? Like, did you guys know each other before or you just like, hey, there's a guy off the street, he's a busking and he's really cool. Let's join a band. Basically. Well, I went to high school with Damon and. Um, I met James through one of his mates that I also went to high school with and then the idea was always sort of there and then we just thought one day why not why we started not? jamming and it sounded good we started writing some of our own stuff and it sounded good and then we recruited Mr. Cobby over here and asked him to play the bass for us and he um, yeah. will oh, you glad you did <laughs> <laughs> indeed indeed sweet sweet so did you guys start off in the garage like most bands did? In the basement. In the basement. <laughs> it's even more generic. <laughs> in the mouse, the mouse infested basement at the moment. So it, there is a basement. There Where is. in Australia do you get a basement? A house owned by Wogs. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Was that a pretty cool like fest in Satan? Like basement? <laughs> Did you get like rats scrolling through and all that crap? Oh yeah. There are a lot of mice. Yeah. There's a lot of pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good night. <laughs> and the rest of you just don't ask questions about. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. So what's on the agenda for you guys? Like the boys are getting onto some very nice juicy riffs. Yeah, we're um, in the process of writing a few new songs for all your lovely ear holes. As Calvin said, juicy is the word. We should have some yep. stuff for you to hear next year, some point. Yeah. 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 yeah probably. Yeah. Is it going to be a little bit of a surprise for everyone? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it'll yeah. come come around the corner, out of nowhere, smack you in the face. <laughs> 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 nice. I think that's what people need. A bit of surprise, smack everyone in the faces. Yeah. This sounds good. Yeah. Some people need it more than most. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Love a rock and nine. If you got anything that you want to say, uh, say to I don't know um, fellow people that you know who's on the radio at the moment that you live with, uh, named Damo, and <laughs> you want them to do the dishes, just <laughs> like uh, a couple of people have actually texted in. Three times. <laughs> Jed, what am I paying you for, mate? <laughs> Damo, when are you going to do the dishes? Love your work, boys. Oi, Damo, when are you going to do the fucking dishes? <laughs> Oi, Damo, when are you going to do your dishes? Damo, any responses, dude? Nothing as of yet. <laughs> okay. Um, never! <laughs> Good luck in the dishes, done. <laughs> I'm kicking around. I'm actually going up to Mount Hotham this weekend, so I can't make your gig this week. So what other gigs do you guys have up coming up in the future? September 20th, we're playing with some awesome bands. We're really glad to be on that bill. Um, with In Malice's Wake and Eye of the Enemy and Envenomed. And yeah, really looking forward to that one. Going to be a mad, mad show, yeah. Yeah, right. Mm. So, okay, so where was that again, sorry? That's at the Bendigo Hotel. Bendigo Hotel. Collingwood, yeah. And the date is? September 20th. September 20th. Yep. All right, so jump on to www.facebook.com forward slash cryptic abyss. Check out a little bit more further details on that one. And there you'll be able to find out all your prices and all that sort of jazz as well. Now, what is your favourite colour? Rainbow. <laughs> Black. <laughs> It's not a colour, it's a shade. <laughs> <laughs> Deepest, darkest shade there ever is. <laughs> Quoting from... Death my block, brain. <laughs> Quoting from your brain. I'm what not sure genius. that's going to hold up in court. So what are we going to play from here? Uh, so before we played... Love a rock and iron here, ladies and gentlemen. That is Cryptic Abyss with Hair Throne of Hatred. You guys are still here. Good. I um, haven't pissed you off all that much. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so tell us about your process on how you guys did the EP. Um, who you worked with, how, you know, how it all came about, adventures with it, how, I don't know, stories. Just, just uh, say something. All right, well, um, it took us a... Uh, took us about a year to write all the songs some of the songs came together in 10 minutes some took a couple of months just to sort of let the the mind stretch out a little bit and um yeah and then we recorded the album with uh chris tomelko from orpheus omega 
Monolith Studios. At Monolith Studios, yeah, that's right. correct. Um, and that was that was awesome. That was a that was a very fun experience for us. And but unfortunately, we all contracted gastro sequence uh, in sequence, <laughs> except for Calvin. Who started that? Damon. I, he had, he had it, it wasn't a, because of your bloody dishes, was it? He had it for an hour and he was fine and then I got it and then James got it and Calvin missed out. Got off scot free. I have a stitch above my eye to this day. Yeah. yeah, yeah so say that again. You get I have a, I have a stitch above my eye to this day. A and scar. how did that happen? Wow. Well, dehydration <laughs> and, a and gastro and a kebab and gastro. Okay, the kebab's generally the end of another tale, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Who writes music? We all chip in. We all... Just, like, throw in a bit of words yeah. and yeah. then yeah. just smash yeah. it together? Yeah. 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 Music always before lyrics anyway, so... Naturally, all right, fair enough. Uh, now, the song that we played, not... Uh, just then, uh, but the blood on the nature strip uh, that was with Matt Young. How did that come about? I <laughs> uh, pretty much just asked him, and he said, Yeah, he was keen. So he came down to Monolith Studios and laid some vocals on our track, which we're, we're really happy with the quality of the EP. Like, Chris has done an excellent job on the whole thing, couldn't be happier. We'll definitely be back with him for the album when that time comes, whenever it may be. Well, okay, cool. Um, so it was just, you know, that track before, um, didn't get a chance to talk about it before, but yeah, that one with Matt Young, like it was kind of cool just to sort of hear him in a bit of a, uh, well, yeah, obviously we've played, you know, all of Australia's played King Parrot like off, the, off their head sort of thing and seeing him work with you guys on a completely different level was really kind of cool as well. And uh, you guys must have been stoked to a, have him on board and then sort of have that all come out like that's yeah it was really cool and yeah watching him warm up was quite a laugh too Oh, no, really <laughs> yeah the way the way he warms up he shrieks he, yeah. well He's yeah pacing like, down the hallway sort of so the real King softly actually evolves as a parrot doesn't it? <laughs> the yes, way he does yeah yeah so yeah because like, obviously anyone who's seen a king parrot show like it is pretty uh well pretty loose um pretty tame <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty me- mediocre at best, right? Um, and yeah, so yeah, seeing him warm up, that would be yeah, that was really fun. I <laughs> guess really cool. You know, that would probably be on most people's interviews. You know, like oh, geez, man, how do you, how do you look warm up and stuff? And yeah, well, like a shrieking parrot, yeah. <laughs> um, banshee. <laughs> hopefully, he's over in America at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, so cool. So, okay, let's start with the immediate things. You guys are doing a show this weekend, Mr. Boogie Man. Um, that website again is www.facebook.com forward slash Cryptic Abyss. Check for further details for this gig. Uh, doors will be opened by about 5.30, we'll say. Yeah. Um, get over there, check out some local music, do yourself a favour. And we are just about to wrap up the show here on Lava Rock and Iron. Thank you guys, Cryptic Biss, for coming in. Uh, been a real pleasure for you guys coming in. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for having us, mate. Thank you. Ne, ne problemo.